From already hating the show due to Rowling's involvement, to being pissed about getting a show no one asked for, there are so many reasons why fans are split on the upcoming series. So, let's dig into why some people are boycotting the show and the drama surrounding its creator. Of course you remember Harry Potter, right? Well, Max, formerly HBO Max, just greenlit a Harry Potter TV series. And not just any series, but a quote faithful, long-form series that will cover all seven of J.K. Rowling's beloved beloved best-selling fantasy novels over a period of 10 years. That's right, you'll get to experience all the juicy details that were left out of the Warner Brothers feature films that we all know and love. But hold up, there's a catch. We can't have a Harry Potter series without dealing with the author herself. Rowling still holds a lot of control over the filmic rights to her stories, so she had to be on board for this project. She'll be an executive producer, but don't expect her to be writing the episodes or controlling everything that happens happens. And let's be real, her opinions about the trans community have been pretty controversial and offensive to many people. And that's not all. Recently, an exec from HBO added fuel to that fire. The chairman and CEO of HBO and Max Content, Casey Bloys, said that Rowling's insights on the direction of the show will be helpful, but they're not going to get into the whole very online conversation about her controversial opinions. Their priority is what's on screen, and that's the Harry Potter story which is all about love and acceptance. Nobody liked that, obviously. It's not all rainbows and unicorns in the Harry Potter fandom. Bloy's statement sparked a heated debate amongst fans. Some are so outraged by the controversies surrounding creator J.K. Rowling that they're threatening to boycott the streamer altogether, similar to the backlash that the video game Hogwarts Legacy received earlier this year. And it's not just Rowling's divisive views on the transgender community that's causing concern. Some fans are pointing out that the series is already relying heavily on the popularity of the original films. I mean, they're using the same logo, castle, and iconic theme music by John Williams. Talk about unoriginal. But still, it's clear that Rowling has become a controversial figure, especially with her alignment with gender-critical groups. And honestly, it's a relief how some people are not down with her views on the LGBTQ community and transitioning young people, particularly Daniel Radcliffe and Emma Watson. Radcliffe, who shot to fame thanks to Rowling's books and subsequent film adaptations, even took a sly dig at the author once. He suggested that her opinions were causing upset among young, queer, and transgender fans of the franchise. And he wasn't wrong. Many felt hurt by Rowling's mocking tweets about an article that referred to, quote, people who menstruate. In response to this, Radcliffe, who had previously stated that transgender women are women, spoke up for members of the LGBTQ community. He wanted them to know that not everybody in the franchise felt that way. For him, it was essential to let fans know that they were supported, especially since he met so many queer and trans kids who identified with the Potter universe. I cannot stress how important this was. On the other hand, Rowling tried to address the backlash in an essay, in which she talked about overcoming domestic abuse and sexual assault. But for many fans, her words fell short. Yeah, it's not all wizarding wonders in her world lately. Miss Rowling has been receiving a lot of heat for her views on trans transgender people and gender identity for a long time. She's been sounding off on Twitter and her blog, expressing concerns about how transgender rights may impact women's rights, especially concerning their access to single-sex spaces and erasure of biological sex. JK has argued that disregarding biological sex in favor of gender identity could endanger women. How? Well, it'll make it easier for men who identify as women to access female-only spaces, such as bathrooms and changing rooms. Yeah. Yeah, not sure if that justifies invalidating the existence of an entire group of people. And that's not all, folks. She's also raised concerns about young people undergoing hormone therapy and surgery in order to transition, suggesting that this could be a form of conversion therapy. These views have caused outrage amongst LGBTQ activists and organizations, who have accused her of spreading harmful stereotypes about trans people and promoting transphobia. So, while excited fans are seriously hyped about seeing all the details that were missing from the films finally brought to life, let's be real. There are a lot of people out there, especially in the LGBTQ community, who are worried that the series will be ruined due to the lingering controversy around J.K. Rowling's views. And some have taken to Twitter to voice their concerns. Once again, I'm begging you all, don't stream this, said one user. J.K. Rowling has been reported to be profiting off this, they added. It's all a money grab 
grabbed for fear of losing relevance. A lot of people have picked up on the fact that these guys are only in it for the money. There's no point in beating around the bush. It's obviously going to bring them a ton of money. On that note, a user said that if you want to make an actual difference, boycott and show the industry this franchise is dead. People are really serious about boycotting both the show and canceling their max subscriptions. I can't blame them for it. Some things just shouldn't be touched. In the words of a fellow outraged fan, leave Harry alone. Lastly, according to another user, the series is not only a cash grab, but is also unnecessary. I'd rather a new story set in the Wizarding World be told, they said, not a rehash of what came before. All I can do is boycott the series, and I will. The Harry Potter reboot is getting some serious heat, and it's not just coming from the fans. Media big shots are jumping in with their two cents too. Vulture critic Catherine Van Arendonk said this reboot is a bunch of bullcrap because they're being too faithful to Rowling's work, even though she's spreading hate with her political views. Reporter Sean T. Collins is not playing around either. He says, if anyone's involved with this show and they don't ask about Rowling leading a hate group, they're out of the art club. Damn, that's harsh. Out Magazine tweeted that they don't want any new Harry Potter content if Rowling's transphobic self is involved. And honestly, can we blame them? Entertainment podcaster Dave Gonzalez thinks this show is just gonna drag Rowling's anti trans agenda back into the spotlight, this time for 10 whole years. That's a long time, man. And last but not least, Decider editor Alex Albin thinks it's ridiculous that a witch hunt against Rowling is still going on, even though this reboot is going to be a faithful adaptation of her books for the second time and with a massive budget. So, with all the drama surrounding J.K. Rowling's controversial views, we're left wondering if it'll actually affect the upcoming show. And it's hard to say, but let's take a look at some similar situations. Hogwarts Legacy got a lot of hate for Rowling's involvement and calls for a boycott, but it still broke sales records, selling a whopping 12 million copies in just two weeks. On the other hand, the Fantastic Beasts film franchise suffered a massive decline at the box office, which just so happened to coincide with the backlash against Rowling. But let's be real, those movies were kinda terrible, with the second and third entries getting a score of under 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. So it's tough to say if the Rowling drama was the sole reason for their flop and if it will have any impact on the show's reception. Ultimately, whether or not anyone chooses to watch the new Harry Potter series is a personal decision. But regardless of it all, it's clear that the controversy surrounding Rowling and her views is not going away anytime soon. With that said, that'll be all for today on why fans are boycotting the new Harry Potter series.